Hello everybody, welcome to episode 177 of What is the Answer? I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. I got it. That's it's as much Friday. as you might get tonight. It's Friday the 29th of September. It is. I'm sure. And the sun's still out. I mean, I'll have to close the blinds and put the lights on because it will be gone soon, but it's been like a summer's day. It has. Yesterday I was in tights and a pair of boots. Today I've been in me flip-flops and a dress again. I mean... It's been very, very nice. You can tell the sun's coming in because I can't even bother to go and switch the things off. I haven't got anything switched on. I haven't got my iPad on. I'm nearly there. I'm tired. We're both tired. We're both, Dominic, yeah. Dominic smokes more perky than I do, so who knows where. I wasn't perky, and then I, Marie asked me if I'd got something, and I went, no. And I went into a bag, and I've just found a pack of palm violets, half eaten, and that has made me happier than it should have done. But Well, I'm drinking... It's what, it's what you've got to get through. I'm drinking coffee at six o'clock on a, on a Friday night, which is not good. I'd normally stop my coffee in the mid... You're on beer. I've got a shandy. I had to go to the post office, which is in the co-op and i needed something to perk me up so i got a bottle of beer hello good. everybody good right. evening everybody let's get this show on the road we're both a bit tired because of course it was yarndale last weekend and we're just I was, I was just about to say trish is the first one to say good evening and it was really nice to see you again yes at yarndale and trisha told me what she was wearing but i didn't need that i recognized you straight away trish didn't i and Trish so was, the, good take. was the lucky recipient of the Marie Hammond on the hoof invent a game with the porky stick. And yes. thank you for joining in, Trish. You did excellent. Just imagine hook a duck with a porky stick and a basket full of wool. That's moving because That's moving. someone's holding it. That's yeah. moving. Yeah. Use your imagination. Yeah. I was getting a bit giddy by that point. I just needed... Thanks, Tricia, for involving yourself in that. Um, while yeah. we're talking of things, stupid things that we were doing at Yarndale, or should I say what I was doing, golden tickets. Don't forget to check your yarn balls. The On inside. The inside of the label, somebody may have already received it's not been claimed yet so we don't know it might still be on the shelf it might still be out there nobody's looked inside one of the ball bands there is a code that gives you 50 squid 50 pound off the website yes check your ball bands i will do a post tomorrow because i know not everybody watches this um yes but i will put a post out tomorrow so um yes have a look um, yeah, I hope you weren't too traumatised by it, Trish, because I did just throw it on you. Things jump into my mind sometimes. I mean, she really did just throw it at you, Trish. You it's didn't have a choice. You didn't have a choice, but you also <laughs> went away with a free ball of wool. So, win-win. What, what you hook, you take home with you. <laughs> you <sighs> were the only, you were the first and only player. You made me busy. Last player, who knows? Depends when the mood will take me, Tricia. Anyway, right. Um, You'll be pleased to know I've been to, I've, I've been to the opticians and I'm, I've, I'm getting some new glasses. Oh, but good. <laughs> to be able to see properly, my glasses at the minute, I feel like need to be there, which I can't really sit for that long. I look like um, Morecambe and Wise when they used to do the but I'm sorted. So I'm sorry if I keep faffing about with my glasses. It's because I can't see properly. Yeah. Right. Sorry. I've just had a notification that someone's commented on a podcast saying evening or you're on live. But it's from three podcasts ago. So I've just had a comment to say, actually, we're live now. Come and find us. So let's see if they do. Oh, yeah, you you couldn't see very well, could you? 
No, so I kept doing this and this. So I'm a bit. And Marie's got a big phone and I've got a small one. She kept picking mine up and going, but how small's that writing? I can I can read my, it. My um up close has got a little bit worse, not a huge amount, and my middle distance just needed a tweak. Um, doesn't I think very focals they can if they're not if your glasses are in exactly the right spot. Yeah, they they I can see you perfectly, Dominique, but I can't sit like that for a little time. I don't know what I've done to me glasses. You did say driving to yard. I said I can never really see when we podcast. Can never really see. Not that you need to, but there's no point in me holding something up to say what does that say because you're not going to well, read it. I can it. see. I can read what's on your t-shirt. I can see it says Mr. Happy. It's just I really have to train can't my eyes. That. Um, it, I'm presuming it says Palmer violence <laughs> only because I know what it is. Anyway, less of my well, eyesight. More of the yes. knitting and crocheting. I'm going to go straight in. Go on, what are you going to say? No, I'm just waving at the person that was commenting on a different podcast. They're here. Um, right, I'm going to show you. Everybody's got it now, haven't they? Everybody should have King Charles III. You should have it by now. Yeah, Beverly might be the only one that hasn't. But it would have been there for when, when she right. got one. Right. right. So, not that I've done a huge amount in it. This is the final colour. I mean, talk about sunshine in a ball of wool. Look at that. Oh, look, you're going to show off now. Look how much you... Well, I've, I did it last night and this morning because I've got too much on in my life and I just needed to sit and... It's beautiful. I mean, the colour. I mean, look, would you, look we're just going through the colours there now. There are now... I don't know if anyone's put it on our knit and nat page. I have seen people that have finished yes. and posted. So please now feel free to post your finished, your half finished. Yep. It doesn't matter what um, what monarch you're on, whether you're still on. You can share it now. You can share it. Share yeah. And also, as a little gift from us to you, you got the label. The coronation blanket label, and people have been asking me where you're going to put it, how you're going to place it. My, I think I'm going to put mine on the last yellow. I mean, I'll show you on the green. I'm just going to sew it on. I think in the corner of the last yellow. Mine's going to go on a corner at the front, yeah. like on the right side. Yeah, I think. But I'm putting mine on the yellow. That's where I'm going with it because I think it stands out really nice on the yellow. But put it where you like. Yeah. Get, I mean, it doesn't have to go on your blanket, but no, it, it's, just a, it's just a reminder. Um, and I know we've said it already, but thank you again, Linda, who sent Joe. Jo. Somebody had put on um, the knit and natter page that they'd run out like less than half a row short. Um, if any of you are in that position, just drop us a message and we'll yeah. send you yeah. ours. Um, so, and Linda came to the rescue while we were at Yarndale and posted it. So, Joe's now finished it and she's on to the next one. So, when did um, they should have been? There should have been two. You should have received two. Did you not get them? I'll pop them in the post. I'm taking it, you mean the um, labels? There should have been two in the, par in the parcel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I put them in. They are very thin. I'll send them out, don't panic. Um, so, yeah, they look amazing, I've got to say. So we'll have those at Bakewell, won't we, Dominique? <gasps> I mean, what a backdrop. What? A, well, we're going to have them at Bakewell, aren't we? They're going to be at Bakewell. Yeah, probably not finished. Not finished, but uh, we had them at Yarndale and we did get them out to show people, so... We're hoping we'll have some good hanging space, though, won't we, at Bakewell, so they might get hung up somewhere mm. with a coffee stick. Yeah, I'm not sure there will, but we'll see. We'll find somewhere. If not, Dominique will just wear it like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I love it. I, I Everyone, anyone that sent us a picture finished, I would say there are very few things that I'm proud I've done. I'm very proud of this. Good. I really like it. Good. 
So every time someone sends me a picture, it makes me very happy. So you can keep yeah. sending them. I mean, and it's too warm to do this, but I'm just going to sit like this now. And we will be releasing the colours in a little while. Um, once well, the blanket. When, once when we've the got blanket. time to think. Um, and, we're, and we're going to put them on as separate colours so that if people want to use them for something else. But yeah. We might also, I mean, we've not talked about this. We do this all the time. But if somebody does want to knit the blanket, we'll probably do a do an option of a, a blanket pack yeah yeah um, but you can have them on any base yes you know they will base. be people have asked if we're going to do them on four ply or sparkle because they want to knit some we'll do yeah. other than yak because it changes the color yes you can have them on any base you can have them on hundreds or fifties when so if you wanted to do a mini blanket you could have yeah. 50 grams yes uh, so excuse me um but Wendy, I'll pop them in the post yet. Who knows? I mean, I blame the packager. That'll be me. Um, I could have sworn I'd put them in. I'm sorry. Um, anyway. Um, and the blanket pattern will be available. You can buy the blanket pattern. And the pattern has both the knit and crochet versions. Yeah. It'll be one get, pattern that has both. You get two for one. So, two for one. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Anybody else who didn't get the thing? Label. Just let me know. I'm sure I double checked on a lot of them because I was in a yeah. I did check and kept unpackaging and but I, anyway. Yeah, I'm only human, you know. You know, we all make mistakes, but we are quite good <laughs> at fixing our mistakes. We are very good at fixing our mistakes, aren't we? Yeah, you know, life happens, yeah. doesn't it? Right. So yeah. that is the blanket. Is there anything else we need to talk about the blanket? Don't think so. Is there? I mean, ones. I think I've got fill in the ears, but not that I can think of at the minute. So let's let's move on to. Do you want to hear about some yarn dial purchases? Or do you want do to want... see some knitting? Or do you want some announcements? What would you like? That's, that's too yes. warm. What would you like? Um, I got. I have to say, it's Angela who gave us the idea for the. Um, um label because i put a label on when i was doing the coronation one you got a label from sirdar with the pack um, and yes. then Angela had said oh um i'm thinking about looking for something have you had any ideas and i just said leave it don't don't look so that's where the idea came from wasn't it we thought oh that'd be quite it nice was. to, to mark yes um we've not decided to i mean until that we get to the point of release anita like we've said a few things but they've gone in and out our brains yeah. At the minute, jewels, we've said, I think they will have some connection yeah. to jewels or regalia or something like that, but yeah. they won't be called the kings and queens because there's too many Edwards, too many Georges. I mean, that'll just blow our brains when we go, Dominique, can you dye me a King George? Which one would you like me to dye, Marie? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. It's easier to yeah. say, can you do the pink one, the, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So there will be... I mean, we could even do that, you know, how they do on Friends, you know. The pink, the pink one. one, the red one. The red one. Do you know what? That might be a good idea. I think that's what we might call them. Write that down in your book. We'll what think do you say? Think. Yeah, there's two blue ones. Anyway, well, Anita, there until we get to there's the a blue one release, and the turquoise. Until we get to the point of releasing them, there's no point thing, yes. us thinking about it. because Yeah, exactly. And we'll have slept by them by the time we decide. Too to many other them. things in, going on in our heads. So, um, if you're not careful yeah. that we call the A, B, C, D, E, 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 Yeah. Right. But we will let you know which one's which. We'll put a post with the colours yeah. on, with the names, so don't panic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Can I see some of the... Did you get any, um, what did you get at Yarndale? Let's have a look at that. So thank you to everybody who came to Yarndale. It was lovely to see so many of you. Um, and really, really nice people that had bought from us in the past, either online or at other shows, and came with yeah. finished garments. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you, you kind of, every now and again, if you've got a chance, you'd look up and then all of a sudden you'd think, that person's wearing, like the lady that was wearing bejeweled. Yeah. Um, or just, you just, we kept seeing things. So it was really nice to see. Yeah. 
And it was nice. I mean, we had a long list of people coming wearing things that they'd either crocheted or knitted. So we had a long list at the back of Dominique's um, book. Or like them badges or... Yeah. lots. Of, so we got yeah. lots of inspiration for things. So um, thank you for all of you who we kept going, oh, where's that from? What, what pattern's that? That's inspired us. We've yeah. now got an even bigger list of things to do. I kept going and like just tapping people on the shoulder and saying, I don't want to interrupt you, but can you tell me what you're wearing? And just, can you say it slowly? Because I need to write it down. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So, yeah. Never mind. Um, Royal Palace is not a bad idea. I'll write it down. It's not a bad idea, but sometimes the colour needs to mean something so you know what colour it, it is. Does. Do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, I only made one purchase. I didn't. Get, I didn't leave the stall on Saturday, and by Sunday, as always happens, you've been on your feet for so long, and we were busy most of Sunday. You can't really be bothered to do anything so the only thing I really wanted to do and it took me till Sunday afternoon I really wanted to go and say hello to Kelly from Lay Family Arms so I went and did that and two or three stalls away was Woolmouse who I bought from before and at Buxton last did we do Buxton last year yes we didn't do it this year we yeah. didn't do it this year. Yeah, we did do it last year, Dominique. We did it Buxton last year. Buxton last year, they'd got some Liberty print top. Like top, yeah. And as well as lots of things. And she made one for me longer because they were for little people. Um, so I just wanted to go and say thank you to her, which I did. And while I was there, I could not resist these buttons. I mean, they are you in a button. You've got I all the of sports there, Dominique, that you watch. Other than basketball. Yeah. Basketball. I spent all day that watching one, all, all the others. I've spent all day watching or listening to the golf. The rugby's on this afternoon. Tennis, I was watching the Davis Cup football. We watch it all the time. Um, and then look. Look at them. They are lovely. They are so nice. They're all... Oh, they are. It looked, it looked, they look completely different colours, but they are really the same colour other than the... Other than <laughs> the black one. Yeah. I just thought... So I've no idea what I'm going to do with them, whether they go on a project or whether I'm just going to sew them to a project bag. You know, like as if it was a badge, I might just sew them, but I could not resist them. So nice. that was, and then just because you can never have enough ball pins. pins. That was it. That that was all I bought. I've got one other thing to show you. That was all I bought. So let's see some of yours. Um, well, first thing I bought, which I couldn't resist was some needle point protectors, and you'll see oh. why I couldn't resist them. Yes. I thought they were moo cows, and they were from um, the dye shack. And um, they had some lovely um, needle um, protectors. So I really like them. So I've been ever so good, and I haven't taken them out of the packet yet, because um, I would forget where I'd got them from. So they're going to go on um, one of my jumpers. That I'm knitting at the minute because I keep losing my stitches off them. Um, but I thought they were so nice. They're a bit different as well. Normally you'd get something with a little face on, wouldn't you? You know, like a, but that's just got the, the pattern on there. You can see it better. Yeah, very, very nice. nice. And they're textured as well. Um, they'd actually make quite a nice pair of earrings. Oh, yeah. Hmm. They might end up as a little pair of earrings as well. I like them, because they're not heavy. Who knows what I'll do with those, but I, I like those because they were a little bit different. Um, like I say, you usually just get the cute little faces on things, don't you? And I just thought it was a bit different. So that's, I got that. Um, I then, do you want to see the wool I bought or the other stuff I bought? No, let's see the wool. The wool I bought. Well, I wanted to do the Cecil shawl. Um, which um, is by 
Twin set and pearl. Twin set and pearls. Let me get. The... I'm not sure if I've taken the photo on the pattern. I don't think I've got the front sheet pattern. I haven't. I'll I'll find it. You find it. So it's a it's a shawl that's knit using four ply, one colour all the way through, and then you intermingle um, with three different mohair colours. So um, I went to Irish artisan yarn. And I got three colours. Mm. I'm missing one. It's in the other bag. So I got a grey colour, which was called Pebble. I got the pink, which is called Fuchsia. And I got the purple, which is called, let me find in my bag. There, there's a picture of it. So it the, kind of like just blobs of different coloured mohair all the I mean, way through. I've, I've got, I've lost... I've lost the colours. So I bought those two in a grey from Irish Artisan Yarns and the base is um, 75 Baby Surrey Alpaca and 25% Silk. So you start knitting and you knit with one of the more hair and the colour and then you some of, sometimes you're knitting with two more hairs and it's just blended. That's it, Dominic can see it there. So you're blending all the more hairs together. Now the only thing is the grey... I couldn't see on the purple when I was when I started mixing it. Oh, thought, when you were working gonna... them to because so. So, like there, yeah. that's the grey going one way and the mustard going yes. the other. And I thought this is ridiculous. I'm going to lose it. So I remembered last year when I was doing the twists and turns, I bought some more hair from Ducky Darling's yarn. Ah, and I thought that was just sat waiting for me. So. I put the three of those together for a good contrast, so they look really pretty together. So the grey's out. The grey's out, and that'll get used for something else. Yes. Um, and that's the start of it. So you can see the bottom is just our silver sparkle. Then I've added in the purple. Yeah. And slowly you've added in the turquoise, and then that is just the turquoise on its own. So I was just going to say, so that it's turquoise and purple. Yeah. And that tiny little triangle is just the, the turquoise. I mean, well, I Lisa, do and, Lisa and Kath have done this and they did say you need very, very good yarn management. And to be fair, when I was sat, I have got them in different places. So when I was sat, I was actually doing quite good yarn management. But of course, yeah. I've shoved it in my bag and it's, you know. But I'm really liking those three colours together. Really nice. So... That's just really going nice. to be yes. a slow labour of love. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Because um, you do have to look at the pattern because you can't, and I have done it. I've got a little bit ambitious with myself. I thought, yeah, I've read that bit. I hadn't read it properly because I was supposed to have changed colours four rows be before. So, Well, you didn't start brilliantly, did you? Because you started at, you, at Yarndale while we were at the cottage. Got and, you were, and you got really excited. And then you, then you looked at your pattern and were like, Oh, I've done, you've done about two inches too. I mean, only the start, but yeah. well, we all do it, don't we? You look at the pattern, you think, I know what I'm doing. I'm just knitting for a while. And then you look back and you go, oh yeah, I should have done it. It said on the pattern, um, by the end, repeat these rows, get to how I'm many stitches. So I just thought, that's all they do, blah, blah, blah. Then underneath it in little writing, which I hadn't read, you know, I don't In bold. That. Yeah, in bold, but small. I hadn't read it. It said... You will be changing colour on row, whatever. I never read that, did I? So I thought, well, that's your own stupid fault. Um, you know, I need to read the full pattern. And that also, I hadn't read the other bit as well, that said, mm, let me get the pattern, where it said, because it's eye cord edging, so your eye cord edging should only be in your main colour. Well, I mean, we've just got a little, oh. bit, of, we've just got a little bit of a design, you know, yeah, anti theft device. Yeah, I rectified it because I read the pattern. It was when I got to it and I thought, I wonder if that should. I wonder if that should have those colours in. Let me just read the pattern. No, yeah. you're supposed to do the eye cord, which it clearly stated at the beginning of the pattern, in the main colour. I was too excited. I was excited. No. No one's going to be able to steal it. You'll always know it's yours. And I was so excited. I had to go and see Carol. And buy some new Knit Pro needles. Carol at knit. knitting for what? Fun. Knitting for fun. Is that what her needle company's called now? 
I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Come so on, someone will correct us if we're so wrong. Carol, Michelle and Trevor there. So, I mean, yes. I, love, I love my Nick Pro um, zings. So, um, yeah, and they match my bag. They match my Melly bag. So, I was too excited. I had to buy the needles. I had to crack on with it. It didn't help that I was trying to read the pattern from my iPad. Yes. You know, I blame the glasses. Yeah. Blame the glasses. And a long day at Yarndale. Yeah. And an overexcited child wanting to cast on. So that was my yarny purchase. Sorry, that, just you saying that. We did have, because some people had weekend passes, so we did have two ladies that came to see us on the Saturday and they'd obviously stayed over somewhere and came back on Sunday morning. And because all our wool is caked, ready for you to go, she'd yeah. cast on and done about four inches of a sock the night yeah. before because she brought it to us to show us. Yeah. So thank you, Caroline. Yeah, yeah I thought know. it was. Knitting for fun before. with a number four. I thought that's what it was. Yes. Um, um, yeah, so, you know, you weren't the only one. There were lots of people. Yeah. The amount of people that said when they were paying, because I normally take the money, you know, they were like, oh, I, I'm so pleased it's caked. I can cast this on on the train. Or I'm the passenger. I'm not driving. I'm going to cast it on straight away. And I kept sending people down to Carol because, you know, they're really, really reasonable prices. And yeah. um, I kept saying, just go down there, further down. She was further down on the row behind us. Just go down there. There's plenty of needles. You can get cracking on the way home. So I was enabling uh, everybody. This is the lady that organises Buxton, Bakewell and um, Cumbria. Yeah. yeah. So we've got to know her really well. She's yeah. lovely. So so they, yeah. were my, they were my woolly purchases. Um, yeah. So what else did you get at Yarnbury? Well... I sent Marie to go and buy me because I'd seen them earlier. I've just taken on Marie's mantle um, to buy me a pair of little scissors. So she went to buy me a pair of scissors from the knitting gift shop because we all love the knitting gift shop. I mean, look. Beautiful. Pearlescent. But the very naughty Trish and Ian wouldn't let Marie buy them. I wouldn't have had them otherwise, but so thank you very, very much. So they're not, I didn't buy them. They were gifted to us. They wouldn't let Marie pay. But they look but, like they've got little crowns on the top. Well, it's, they've got something in the middle there. Yeah. Can't see what um, it is. I mean, you've got, I've got no, nothing. Well, I can't. Really pretty. Just, it's just detail. Yeah, really pretty. have really you got a fly pretty. there? Yeah, flies back. I've not had a fly all week. <laughs> flies back. <laughs> Your scissors ready. But they are. They're a nice size as well. I mean, no. you know me and scissors. I love my scissors, but the other day, could I find a pair of scissors? No, because I reckon they're all in one bag. I have. I've got a couple of pairs of scissors, but one that's always with me now. One that's in my bag, I'll be honest, I couldn't be bothered to look. Everyone was buying things and I felt left out. So Marie said, I'm going to the knitting gift shop. I was like, oh, I've seen some scissors. Can I have them? So that's why I've got them. I mean, that fly is going to get cut in half. I'll put, put them down. the scissors down. We don't I'll want an accident the, live on it. the scissors down. Before um, I show you any more yarn, deal, I think we need an announcement, Dominique. Let me just write knitting gift shop down, otherwise I'm going to forget to knitting gift shop. Skizzers. Have you written knitting for fun? I've written knitting for fun, knit pro zing. Got them. Um, oh, look, sorry. Wendy's saying that was the reason she was drawn to us, because we caked our yarn. And look what that's caused. Exactly. Look what that's caused, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy's now a star designer. You can't get away from us now, can you, Wendy? No. No. No hiding now. That's it. Right, go on then. Right. You asked. We said last week we are running an extra, we're calling it extra retreat in Christmas 2024, running from Wednesday the 4th of December to Saturday the 7th of December. Um, so as Dominic and I explained, we'll start the first retreat, which is the normal date that we've been running 
we'll say goodbye to people on the Wednesday and we'll say hello to everybody else on the other Wednesday. It will be live on the website tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. British summertime. British summertime to book your place. So it'll be £100 per person deposit um, and read all the T's and C's that are on there. You know, we, we do recommend getting travel insurance if things have to be cancelled that aren't off, you know, if you have to cancel or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it will be going live um, tomorrow morning. Now, we have put a combination of different types of rooms because there's rooms on the ground floor, on the first floor, some rooms have. I just while you're saying that, it's just reminded me, there is no lift. No lift. There is no lift in the building. So if you can't do stairs, you'll have to get a ground floor yes. um, room. You, just as you were saying that, I thought yes. I need to just say so that. So there's um, ground floor rooms, first floor rooms, um, and you have an option of bath and shower or just a shower. There's a slight, not a huge amount, but there is a slight price point difference. And we've also put... Um, double occupancy, which is where there's either a twin room, I think, or there's a room that's got two bedrooms, but they share a bathroom. You have to yeah. walk through one room to get to another. Yeah. Um, now, if, and we know this happens before, they just disappear like hotcakes, the rooms. Yeah. So if you want to come and you go on the website and all that's available is showing double occupancy rooms and you just want to come on your own or you and your friend want your own room, just email us and we can change it um, and, and make sure that you get a room on your own because we have got plenty of capacity for certain types of rooms. Yeah. Um, so, but, we, but we've put, we need to put twin rooms on because it reduces the cost if you share a yeah. room. So yeah. we've got to give people the option to do that, yeah. but we find that they go last. Yeah. And that's fine. If they go last, yeah. we'll just swap them around because most people do tend to come and they want their own room with their own ensuite yes um, you know they want their own space which is absolutely fine yeah um, and again if there's anybody who are coming as a couple and you want to come you know and have a, a double room with a double occupancy with just a king size bed or, or a double bed then let us know for a price because we don't put those on we've not we've not had anybody ask ask so far but no. you know, if there is a couple wants to come just let us know. Um, just email so, us and, and ask us the options. So nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah. Set your alarm. Because normally they do disappear pretty sharpish. Yeah, they do. Um, so. I mean, yeah. we don't know. They might not this time, but I, we know we've got, there are people out there lined up. So if you want yes. to come, and I'm saying this now, there will be no more. There like, won't be any more. When yeah. We cannot fit any more in the year so no yeah so um what else was i going to say as well and so you pay your 100 pound deposit to start off with and then we split the payments um between so the second payment split it into payment in half so the second payment will be in april 2024 and then october 2024 so it spreads it out a little bit the payment um options yeah. um so see you later so, anita see you later so we put it out on social media, you know, we can't do any more. It's, it's going to be out there. Fastest yes. fingers on the buzzers. So, um, yes. If between now and nine o'clock, if you've got questions. Yeah, just email just us. Email us and we'll, unless it's at midnight, you know, we'll try and respond to you straight away, definitely before nine o'clock. So if you've got any questions, yeah. then just ask. Um, I mean, we've said before, but we don't do anything in as much as come and find a comfy chair and you can stay there for the whole yeah three and a half days um you know when, when you're not on the go all the time the only thing you have to be conscious of is what time meal times are unless you don't want to make a meal okay. time yeah. you know it is as relaxed as it can be you can come um, and go, you're not held hostage. You know, if you want to go no. to Lincoln and have a look around, you can. If um, you want to walk across the road to the antique centre, you can do. We thought lots of people would do that. Very few people do. Because sometimes that means you have to get dressed. And it's not it's not just a knitting retreat. You can come and bring any craft you want that's port we always say that's portable that you can do. Yes. You know, sat down. Um 
bring what you like you know it's not literally don't bring anything it's just come free. and sit in the cat yeah um yeah and oh there's something else i was going to say there so, oh and again we don't run classes there's no um you know we don't say right today we are going to do x y and z yeah if if people get together because everybody's got different skills people are learning yeah. from each other but we don't actually have any set lessons or set tutors coming in it is literally relaxed if you want to stay in your pajamas all day stay in your pajamas but all also day. if you get still. stuck on the project there is always someone that goes i've done that yeah i know how to do that so um, so that's that's ridiculous yeah. for any questions just drop us an email um or something on social media and we'll we'll try and respond to it and mess yeah. a message rather than a post if you know what i mean yes um, yeah would you like to see what else i purchased at yarndale Let's see what else you purchased. Well, I kept walking by when we walked in on row C, I kept seeing these beautiful like wool felty coats. And I thought, oh, I really like those, really like those. Kept looking at them, kept walking by, kept looking. And then in the end of cave. So it was from um, Cool Crafting. Um, I mean, that's a lunar lapping rabbit, but it's the lady behind the lunar lapping rabbits. Um, and it it's not a brilliant photo in the black. Let me see if I can, can you see there? So it's like a duster coat with the pockets and just plain I, oh, yes. on the front. Can you see? I thought you were showing us a picture. You're showing us the drawing. I'm showing you? the drawing because yes. if you see the picture. Yes, you can't it, see. I need to put the light on because I've gone very grainy. Berlin jacket was that called? Berlin jacket. And the pattern, I'll tell you who the pattern's by in a minute. Just give, oh, my aches and bones. Just give me a minute. <laughs> well. I'm hemmed in. And I learnt, um, I learnt while we were away that Cool Crafting, Luna Lapham, Lapin, whichever one you want to say, they're from Kendall. Yes. I didn't realise they were from Kendall. Yeah. I don't know. I got it into my head it was American. I, I don't know why, but... Um, well, I assumed it was French. Is that better? That's better. Yeah. Although because it's dark, it's difficult to see any details. But so the the pattern is at um, by Tessuti, T E W -S, S U T I Fabrics. So of course, because I've got the pattern, I had to buy the fabric. It's an unlined jacket, isn't it? It's an unlined. It's like a cardigan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And because it's um, like felted wool, you just cut it, and you don't have to edge it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell. It's like a a mild denim blue with grey. It looks very charcoal on on yeah, my screen anyway. Yeah, it's but, a, can you see that a bit better? I mean, my sofa's grey. Yeah, so it is a bluey. It is a bluey grey. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to make it from. Um, and then I, so I bought that, and then while I was there, there's a theme. There's a theme to your shopping. While I was there, I saw this little, little handsome chap. But he was dressed in a little kilt. Yes. And um, so that what's, is... What's he called? Hamish. So that's, that's Sarah, um, who runs that company. She is the, she designs the lunar lapping. So that's one of her patterns. So you get everything you need, the pattern and everything, the... Um, all the thread and look that's his little kilt in his shirt and look at the little his little kilt pins and everything oh. so my sewing machine will be out so well, they've be got good. other animals as well haven't oh, they uh, yeah loads of different and obviously the, yeah. the lapping rabbits yes um, but a beautiful stall lots of really nice fabrics lots of different things to buy so yeah um, yeah the sewing machine will be out at some point um in the, the bag like the lunar lapping bag i mean just want to, i just want to color that in well you could i could you just need to get the pencils out and color it in so yes yeah, cc's gonna have a bow yeah cc's Cece definitely going to have a definitely um, yeah so they are all gold in there. So that was all my Yarndale bits and bobs. There we go. 
Um, have you got anything else to show us knitting wise? I've got just one more thing to show you knitting wise and then that's it really. I've got two things to show you knitting wise. Let's start with this one because Strictly started for proper rather than just the launch show on Saturday. So I did get a chance to sit and knit on my sock. In fact, I've not done anything else because I need to measure. I think I may be nearly at my decreases. So there is cha 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 with the turquoise that comes with the as the mini is the sock set. Um, nice. I'm down to there. So like we said, other than the heel, it kind of looks a little like self-striping. Yeah. Not so much around the heel. And there. Right. So um, in fact, I've been dying to restock for Bakewell. And of course, we'd run out cha-cha-cha. Yeah. Um, and I forgot to do it today, so it's still on the list to do. But um, there'll be more at Bakewell if you come Good. into Bakewell. Um, people are finishing socks. I keep seeing people put the finished socks on. Um, and we'll probably have some sock sets as well, as well, won't we, in that at Bakewell. We're going to try out a new, a few different yes. and sock sets and things. So, yes. But that will definitely be one of them because obviously um, it's the popular one. Uh, the yes, it really is. So that's just more on my cha-cha-cha, which is the Winnick Mom basic four ply sock pattern that I'm being a good girl and I'm measuring and good. I still don't think they're going to fit but I just think they're just going to be but we'll see we will see so you need a friend with fat cankles well they'll get worn somewhere won't they they will they will get worn somewhere um but just while we're talking of um, Yarndale, the crochet poncho that we showed you last week and the gratitude shawl, those patterns are now available on the website if you want to buy them. Um, yes. We did have a little issue at Yarndale um, with the patterns for the poncho. Um, we'd had a problem with the printing. So yes. we had to pull, pull the pattern. Um, yes. But yeah, they're all available now online, um, £4 each. So yes, if you want to do them as a download, they're there. Um, the only other thing I've got is I was trying, I did say I wanted to get this finished. I have got one more day for September to get this finished. I am about there on my sleeve. I've got the other one to oh. do. The body's done. I'm trying to convince myself, can I get away with what do you all call them? I call them three quarter length sleeves. Don't know. I always pull my jumpers up, but I think it'll annoy me. I always have them longer and then shove them up to there anyway. Yeah. So I, I think it would annoy me if I didn't do it the proper length. So I haven't got much longer to go. I just need to crack on with that. I and what pattern is it? So that is the Love Note. Again. Um, and that yarn is from Attic Spin Dye. And it's called... Neon Lights. No. No, it's not. It's City, city something, isn't it? Neon, neon something, neon city, anyway. And I've held it with the Scapey's um, rhythm in that colour. I can't remember. I mean, I should have it in here, but I haven't. I rely on, oh, here, look. I mean, look at me. Neon city. Neon city. Yeah, we were I knew we'd had city in it. Um, so hopefully... I'd like to think I can get that finished so it can go on my finished in September because I do need to get it off the needles because next week, Mr. West starts his mystery knit along. So I'm going to set myself a challenge. I mean, I must be mad because I've got so much to do this week. I want to try and get my blanket finished. Ha, ha, ha. I need to get that jumper finished so I can crack on. Next Thursday, I'll be casting on Mr. West. It's next Thursday, then. Is it that the 5th? Yeah. Right. I'm sure it's a Thursday. Is it, I'm sure it's always a Thursday. 
I think the I think it probably is. Please tell me I've got another day. No, it is. It's the fifth. The fifth. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to think I can get those. If I haven't got my blanket, I'm not too bothered because I can plod on with it. But it's just that I need to move them on. Cecil shawl is just going to be a slow burner. Yes. Um, can't yeah. Think, can't think of anything else. Oh, and of course, get my sewing machine out, tie a broom to me, what's it, and keep going and do everything else. Yes. Like all the other jobs. Um, well, I was very fortunate that I've had, I've been very meeting heavy this week. Oh. So that means I can, well, not always, but if it's on Teams and I don't need to have my camera on, I can just knit. And because I can't, I couldn't take cha-cha-cha because I think I nearly it decreases. So I thought, oh, well, I'll cast on my yes. Ballroom Bliss by Suzanne at Green Lampkin Yarns, which is one of the official Strictly Colourways. Nice. I... Oh, that's beautiful, Dominique. It's Look knitting up. Sparkle. I ne well, it's because she only does it in sparkle, otherwise it wouldn't have been. Really um, pretty out. It's, it's knitting up so... The stitch definition is really, really nice. I really like it. Um, <laughs> so, and I'm literally just doing, well, I'm not counting. I took it because I thought I can, I don't have to think I can just go yeah. round and round. Yeah. But because I think the cha-cha-cha socks are too big for me, at 64, I thought I'm going to go down. So... I've gone down to 56 because I thought four's not enough. And now I might have gone down too much. I think you weren't have done gone down. So now you know now you need to find the opposite of the friend with cankles. You need to find somebody with very slim feet and ankles. But I can still get them quite easily. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to increase before the heel because that's where it gets tight. So that's where the tight bit is if you can't. Yes. Get them on. But I really hate sloppy around my ankle. Oh, I so see. I thought tight i can increase before the heel and then decrease again for yeah. i mean we're just trying it out so i don't think i'm i don't think i've got virtual meetings for a while but it just was the perfect time to yeah. take something so yeah. they might might not got knit on for a little while but that is boring bliss and i really really like it Good. looks really pretty yeah. so yeah lucy usually does um size fish. Um, and what size feet have you got, Lucy? Yeah. I just, I just, I hate, I, that's why I do longer rib. Nothing lets them fit properly. So maybe you think you just do your rib on smaller needles and less stitches and then just increase as you get past the bit of yeah. your ankle, you know, as you start to go down your leg. Well, we'll find out, won't we? I mean, what I could do, I could just try this on. And see if I can get it on now. But I just need to, I can't get it on with, on three needles. Right, okay. So, oh, sorry. Size, two to three, yeah. What's well, your feet, Dominique? Mine are, yeah, my feet are a seven, but it's my ankles. Yeah. I don't have huge ankles. I don't have skinny ankles. Let's see. Let's see. If I can be bothered to take them, put them on, tubing I could try these on yeah. now and, and the worst that's going to happen is I'll rip them out yeah. but my fingers were kept busy while I was in a meeting Gorgeous. and that was the main thing because now my muscle bras off the needles I've not got anything small and portable that I don't need to think yeah. about or I have to cast on my other cha-cha-cha sock um but that's living in my Leslie's linens nice lemon bag anything else um I've got an impatient husband, Sati, you're waiting for me. Oh, well, in that case, we'll go. Can't think I've got anything else. Have you got, is there anything else? We've told you what's what's now on the website. We've told you what's going to be on the website tomorrow morning. We've shown you our yarn deal purchases. Yes. Can't think of anything else, can you? I can't. No, I can't. And I'm slowly falling asleep as well. I think I, can you? 
I can't think there is. So if you want a room tomorrow, nine o'clock, good luck. Because I think it's going to turn into chaos. Next week, we may be back at three o'clock. Yes. We may be back at three o'clock next week. But we're not going to promise it. We'll just... We're not going to promise it's... It's going to be... It will be. It will be. We will be, hopefully, on a Friday. I was going to say it might be Thursday, but no, it will be Friday. It, it will be Friday, and that'll give you a chance to cast on your Stephen West. Yes. And Absolutely. see what that is yeah. going to be. Yeah. Well, so have a good have weekend, a, everybody. Yeah, have a good weekend. Don't forget to share your blankets. Your progress, wherever you're at. Yeah. It's just nice to see them. See you all next week. See you all next week, everybody. Bye.